The feasibility and safety of extracorporeal carbon dioxide removal to avoid intubation in patients with COPD unresponsive to non-invasive ventilation for acute hypercapnic respiratory failure. The Eclair study, a multi-center case control study by Brauner S., Sievecker A., Bretner F., et al. In patients presenting with hypercapnic ventilatory failure, non-invasive ventilation is used to enhance alveolar ventilation, remove carbon dioxide, and unload the respiratory muscle pump. In acute or chronic ventilatory failure, ECCO2R has been proposed to avoid invasive mechanical ventilation by augmenting the effects of NIV. ECCO2R has also been proposed to facilitate extubation in those patients intubated after NIV failure. The aim of this study was to prospectively examine the feasibility and safety of removing CO2 extracorporeally with the pump-driven venovenous mid-flow device to avoid intubation and ventilation in patients with acute hypercapnic respiratory failure refractory to NIV and to compare the data with a matched historical control group. A total of 25 ECCO2R patients with the following criteria were included in five tertiary level hospitals in Germany, Austria and the Netherlands between 2012 and 2015. No improvement or worsening of respiratory acidosis increased respiratory rate and clinical signs suggestive of ventilatory muscle pump failure. The historical control patients had been admitted to ICU with hypercapnic ventilatory failure and subsequently failed NIV treatment, followed by intubation and invasive mechanical ventilation. The mean duration of VV ECCO2R was eight and a half days. The mean duration of mechanical ventilation in the ECCO2R group was 8.3 days and in the control group 13.7 days. Tracheostomy rates were 36% and 60%. Mean ICU and hospital length of stay did not differ significantly between the two groups. There was no significant difference in 28-day hospital or 90-day mortality between the two groups. Overall, the use of VVECCO2R to avoid invasive mechanical ventilation was successful in just over half of cases. Relevant ECCO2R associated complications occurred in over one third of patients, with nine cases of major bleeding complications. Thus, Future well-planned RCTs are urgently warranted to further validate the efficacy and safety of this novel strategy. Full study results are available in the September 2016 issue of the ICM Journal.